Right. So guys, hope you guys are well, inshallah. So we're here at the Dawah table. Uh, I was just speaking to a brother. Uh, please forgive me for ending the conversation. Uh, but yeah, I so, saw uh, Sister Madeline. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. That's good. Uh, you had a question. You said that your friend had a question um, about, a, about Islam. And you yeah. haven't read the Quran before, right? No, I didn't. Okay, sure. So what's the question? Um, I'm asking, what do you do? Uh, what do you do to people that mm. don't believe in your God? Okay, are you ready to hear this? Mm. Yeah. It's going to be very brutal. I'm fine. We give them dawah. <laughs> we invite them to Islam. Okay. So I don't know what your friend told you, but people that don't believe, for example, in Islam, they're in categories. So mm -hmm. there's the people of the book, Ahlul Kitab. So there's we as Muslims, we believe the Jews and the Christians are people of the book. Are you a Christian? Yeah, I am. Okay, good. So you, we will class you as the people of the book. So you are closer to us than the polytheists. Mm -hmm. So the polytheists go down the categories of idol worshippers. So these are people who worship statues. Mm -hmm. You don't agree with that, I don't agree with that, right? Okay, good. So as Christians, that's the reason why Allah says in the Quran, tell the people of the book, which is you, we come together and we worship God alone, which you say the Father. Yeah. Yes. So in a nutshell, we are commanded in Islam that we, can, we live in harmony and peace together with the Christians and the Jews. So when Islam was ruling the world, mm -hmm. the vast majority of the world, a lot of Christians lived under the rule of Islam in peace. They had their own cathedrals, their own churches, their own laws. They could drink alcohol, eat pork in their vicinity. So, and they were a protected group, meaning, for example, the Prophet Muhammad, peace him, even Umar ibn Khattab, who was one of the second caliph of Islam, when he took over Jerusalem, he had a covenant, a treaty with the Christians and the Jews that they will live side by side in peace and they have rights. If an external enemy was to come and attack the Christians, the Muslims will be there to defend them. If an external enemy came to attack the Jews, the Muslims will be there to defend them. And the same goes if an external enemy came to attack the Muslims, the Jews and the Christians will help the Muslims to fight them. So there is a perception that in Islam it says, you know, the disbeliever, you kill them. This is nonsense. This is only talking about specific individuals who are hostile. So in the Quran, in chapter 60, verse 8, Allah says in the Quran, We do not forbid you from being just and kind to those who do not fight you and kick you out of your houses. So in a nutshell, to answer your question, Sister Madeline, we are told that a principle is number one, we share Islam with everybody. Christian, Jew, Hindu, whoever you are. That's the number one thing that we believe that the disbelievers have a right because they want to hear the message of Islam. That's number one. Number two, if they choose to reject it, then that's upon them because in the Quran and Surah Baqarah, it's the second chapter mm. of the Quran, there is no compulsion in religion. I can't force you to accept Islam. It defeats the purpose. Mm -hmm. If I forced you, then you didn't really embrace it. So in Islam, strictly, nobody, no Muslim is allowed to force a non-Muslim to accept Islam. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Do you have any other questions? Is there anything else? No, that's okay. it. So let me talk just quickly. Yeah. I know you need to go. Uh, about what our belief is in, uh, pertaining to our doctrine. We believe there is one God. Mm -hmm. We believe He's not a man. He's not a statue. He's not an idol. There is nothing like Him. So are you a Christian that believes Jesus to be God? Or do, what? do you believe Jesus to be God? No, I think He's... A, he's He's just a creature of him. He's his son, or he is not God. But okay. are you Jehovah's Witness? No. Okay, I'm not. What, what, what denomination? Um, just uh, Catholic. You're Catholic. Okay, so good. So you believe that, for example, the mother of Mary. Uh, Mary by the way, we have a chapter about her. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, this is very interesting. Bro, can I have a one second? Mm. You know, a lot of Christians don't know this, yeah. But basically, we have a chapter. Actually, no, it's in my. Sorry, I can be honest. I'll show you. So, look, check this out, sister, yeah? So I'll open the Quran on my app. Oh. Yeah, look. I'm going to write there, Maryam. Look, chapter Mary. We've got a whole chapter on the, the name of uh, the mother of Jesus. My name is Madeleine Marie. That's Madeleine, oh, there Madeleine you go, there Marie, you go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and Jesus is talked about in the Quran as well. Mm. We that, as Muslims, I we know. have to believe in Jesus. Any Muslim that says he doesn't believe in Jesus, he can't be a Muslim. So we believe and also the Quran came also to defend her honor because the Jews said about her, Barakafi, the Jews used to say, not always obviously, the Jews back in those times when Jesus came and we believe in his miraculous birth, we believe in his miracles that he done, we believe he spoke in the crowd when he was a baby, he spoke to defend his mother because the Jews used to say that 
they used to claim mar married to be an adulterer, Awudha Billah. Like, and we, the Quran comes to defend that. That this is not true. We believe she was one of the most amazing women to walk this earth. There are four that the Prophet Muhammad mentioned. She's one of them. She was an amazing woman. So we have utmost respect for the mother of Jesus. We have utmost respect for Jesus. And all we say is the following. We should not worship anybody except God. This is the main message of Islam. All the Muslims here, we worship God alone. We do not worship any idols. And that's why we tell the Christians that Jesus, because some believe Jesus is God. We mm -hmm. say no. Mm -hmm. How could a man be God, which you agree to? Yeah. And we call this the fitrah. You know what you said when, when I said it to you? We say you are programmed to know this. Mm -hmm. Even if I didn't tell you about Islam, if I said to you, do you believe Jesus is God? You say no. Right? Yeah. So the main message of Islam is what? Let's worship the one true God. And Jesus is his prophet. Mm -hmm. Yes? Like in the Bible, it says in Acts 2, 2 uh, verse 22, Jesus of Nazareth, a man chosen by God with wonders, miracles and signs mm. which God did by him and you are a witness to it. So Islam in a nutshell sister is worship God alone, except you have the Old Testament, you have the New Testament, this is the Final Testament. This approves and talks about the other scriptures. Mm -hmm. It affirms Moses, it affirms Jesus, it affirms Abraham. All it says is this is the Final Testament, mm -hmm. accept this and believe in it. Okay. That's it. If you have any other questions? Um, yeah, just one. Sure. We say God is three types, like Holy Ghost and Holy Spirit, yep. His Son and God Himself. Yes. What do you think about that? Okay, so Allah says in the Quran, do not say three, meaning the following. Do you accept that God is the all-knowing? Do you accept He's the all-powerful? Yeah. Okay, now, Jesus, in the Bible, He talks about Him going to the fig tree, and He did not know the season for the figs. They asked Jesus, when is the hour? He said, I do not know, nor the angels in heaven, except the Father. So what Jesus is saying, if Jesus was God, he would have said, I am God, and I'm going to tell you when the hour is. Yeah. But he doesn't. He says, I don't know. Not the angels in heaven, nobody except the Father. He always gives credit to the Father. So we say the Holy Spirit is Angel Gabriel. The Angel Gabriel that came to Abraham, mm -hmm. uh, Abraham came to Moses, came to Jesus, and came to Prophet Muhammad. All with the one message. Worship God alone. So that's why the Ten Commandments, the first commandment is what? Do not worship idols. Yeah? Why? Because I, God, am a jealous God. I, God, is a jealous God. Yeah? So what we say, sister, is that do you believe that God should be one and unique? I think so, yeah. Good. So do you believe that God can be a man? No. Thank you. Islam in a nutshell is this. So I would say personally, you're close to Islam. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, you are. You're really close. So, I would say in a nutshell, sister, look into Islam. Have you, do you know anything about the Prophet Muhammad? No, not yet. Okay, let me give you some material. Can we give the sister some material? Aki, can we give some material about the Prophet Muhammad? So, I'm going to give you some material. Okay. Read it in your own time. Mm -hmm. But in a nutshell, the main fundamental message of Islam is worship God alone. He is the one who created you. And mm -hmm. imagine, I'll give you a simple scenario. You have a mother and father, yeah? Yeah. Okay, they brought you up, they looked after you, they fed you to this age. Imagine you turn to your mom and dad say, You've done nothing for me. I'm going to thank Ali. My name's Ali. You're going to say, I'm going to say thank you to Ali. How would they feel? Betrayed. Betrayed. So now, yeah? thank Sorry. you. Yeah. So they will feel betrayed. They will feel like you're being ungrateful to them. Now, what we say is, we don't say God has feelings and gets hurt, but we say God is the one. Do you tell your heart to beat? No. Do you tell your uh, lungs to breathe? More or less, but. Not really. Not really. <laughs> they, 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 they breathe, the heart, yeah? The food that we eat, to the health that we have, to the family that we have, the fact that we can walk. All of these are the blessings of God. Now imagine I go and say I'm going to find this tree. It's blasphemy. This is one thing in Islam that God doesn't forgive. Mm -hmm. And what's different with Christianity and Islam is the following. In Christianity, God requires blood sacrifice. Islam says no. Nobody needs to die, no blood sacrifice. If you sin, you don't need to, I think it's Catholic, you go to the priest and confess. No, normally. In, in Islam, you don't go to any man. You go to God. How? If you sin, you say, God, forgive me. But Christians believe in, if you pray enough, yeah. not enough, but yeah. my, my priest told me, yeah. I don't have to go to him or anyone else. Yeah. I just have to pray and talk, tell God about it, what yes. bothers me, Good. and that's enough. Good, but when it comes to sins confessing, do you need to go to the priest or can you repent where you are? I can repent where I are. Good, so in Islam, what we say is the same. That 
we do not go to any man. If we sin, we repent. And, and there's a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, which means what he said. He said, if the sins of Adam, we are the sons of children of Adam. If his sins were to reach the mountains and the skies, God will forgive every single one of them, except shirk. You know what shirk is? No. Okay, shirk is associating partners. So if somebody comes and says, I think Jesus is God, or I think this tree is God, or I worship this, or I worship that, that is the only thing God doesn't forgive. Mm -hmm. Anything other than that, God will forgive. Okay. So the main message of Islam is what worship him alone. Okay. Yeah? Okay. If you have any questions, I'm here till 8 p.m. Okay. There's some material that I've given you. My Thank name you. is Ali Dawa on YouTube. You can watch my videos and many other wonderful brothers here. So watch it. if you have any questions to start, I'm here every Sunday from mm -hmm. 1.30 to 8 p.m. Feel free to come and ask. Wonderful. Thank you, Sister Madeleine. Thank you. It May was God really guide nice. You. It was nice and I can see you're a sincere person. And inshallah, one day you will accept Islam. <laughs> Maybe. Inshallah. Yeah. But one thing I'll leave you with. Before you open this book that I gave you, Pray to God sincerely. I came to Islam 10 years ago, by the way. I was really? not Muslim yet. So 13 years ago, I started looking into Islam. And after three years, I accepted Islam. Yeah? So I did one thing. I just prayed to God. I said, if you're there, guide me to the truth. Whatever it is. Christianity, I accept Christianity. Judaism, I accept Judaism. I don't know if it can be a Jew. It's hard. But I said, genuinely, I'm looking for the truth. And Jesus says this in the Bible. Seek the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So all I will say is, pray to the God and say, God, if this message is true, whichever message, mm -hmm. show me the way. God will send you signs. It's up on you to take the signs or reject them. But I believe you're sincere. So, I believe in science, but I need... No in the, the science said, yeah. you need God to believe in something. Every yeah. person, every single person yeah. has to believe in something. Yeah. And if it's not God, it's something else. Exactly. But you have to believe in anything. Do you see what he said there? It's very powerful because Allah says in the Quran, have you seen the one who takes his desires as his own God? So, what you said is correct. Every single one of us believe in some kind of a God. For some people, their God is money. For some people, their God is the opposite gender. For some people, their God is painting. For some people, their God is statues. But we say, worship the one true God. That is where you find your true freedom. Because all these other things are man-made. Everything in this universe is created. We say worship the one that created the creation. Okay. Yeah? Thank you very Thank you, much. Uh, we don't shake hands. Oh. Out of respect. No, forgive me, I should tell you that before. No. It's because we have respect. That's why. Yeah, so it's like, you know the queen. You can't go to the queen, you know. Anybody can shake, uh, shake your hand. It's just out of that. Thank you very much, sister. Okay. If I can just have the mic. Sure. Thank you very much. And if you... Yes, if you ever have questions, I'm here. Thank you. Thank you and read them. And don't forget to do the prayer, yeah? <laughs> Thank you, Sister Madeline. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, guys, very sincere. She seemed very lovely. Uh, sister, may Allah bless her and guide her, inshallah. And you can see the sincerity. Sometimes you can sense the sincerity. And our job is to convey. She didn't know much about Islam. So I didn't want to, you know, and she had to go as well. Uh, so we don't want to be a bit forceful, etc. Because she doesn't know nothing about it. So we've given her literature, we've given the Quran, and inshallah, she makes dua, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers it by guiding her. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wow, amazing. Ah, I enjoyed this, guys. Him uh, explaining about God, you know, the connection between Christianity, Islam, the non Muslim. It was really amazing and I love her expression when he told her that there's a chapter for Mary, Mariam. She was like, oh really? Because in Christianity there's no there's no full chapter for Mary, no. So he explained to her how Jesus spoke as an infant, explained a lot about them believing in one God, that we are all we are serving one God and the rest. And she also said that she does not believe Jesus is God, that Jesus is God's son, but not you know God. So that part where he was actually talking about the um, the chapter, the chapter for Mary, there was one old man that was to, that was coming closer. I think the man was surprised. Like, Ooh, I love the man's expression. Immediately the guy said, okay, let me show you uh, on my phone. I have a Korean on my phone. Let me show you the chapter. And one elderly man just came to check and I was like, wow, this man is so interested in it. Then he left. So at the end of the whole discussion, the lady 
you know stretch out and a hand for handshake it's just like you you know instead of giving a hug normally we give handshake just to let you know that oh thank you so much like more is a greeting handshake is a greeting for us like in christianity but in islam they don't shake the opposite sex like uh, opposite gender they don't do that they only shake guys guys shake ladies ladies shake so no shake no hug so a guy cannot shake a lady a guy cannot hug a lady in islam so he told her that oh he's sorry that he didn't inform her in the beginning like in the beginning that he cannot shake her is not acceptable in islam and you're like whoo really because it's a form of greeting you know like me to me i don't say anything bad in it but since it's the religion it's perfectly all right but aside the religion i don't see anything bad in giving an eye shake amazing beautiful one i really enjoy watching thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye